See, that's how I know you're still poor, broke, busted, and disgusted because of how you've been honoring me. I'm not worth your McDonald's money. I'm not worth your Red Lobster money. I ain't worth your St. John Nick. Y'all can't afford it, no how. I ain't worth y'all Louis Vuitton. I ain't worth your Prada. I'm not worth your Gucci. Mother, ooh, I'm saying this, and I promise you, Deacon it's not with respect and won't. I'm saying it because I want you to understand just what God is saying. I even found out that Movado, you can buy a Movado watch in Sam's. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And y'all know I asked for one last year. Here it is the whole way in August. I still ain't got it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Let me kick down the door and talk to my cheap sons and daughters. See, that's how I know you still poor, broke, busted, and disgusted. All right. Wow. <laughs> First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily, and a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Unlike that, you know, that. Pastor, you just saw talking about y'all broke, y'all broke. I still ain't got my uh, Cartier or whatever, some kind of watch. So I don't even know what it's called. All right. <laughs> this is complete and utter madness. And now this is your Christian church. Now, here's your Christianity for you. You see that? And what you got up in there? What you got up in there? It's, that's why that's why they call it harlot houses. See? This is Jeremiah 23 and verse 1. This is just complete and utter madness, man. You know, that's why I say the water to you, how about some y'all shy? For, you know, because I'm sure we all grew up, um, uh, the, the majority of us grew up in the uh, old Christian church, worshiping uh, Cesare. You know, uh, uh, drink, uh, reading uh, John 3 16 and then shake a pot in your face. What'd he say? Nigga, pass that around. See? It's, it's, it's just crazy, man. It's crazy madness. And our people are still up in these damn churches. But the, but the Hebrew Israelites, the Israelites, we the, we the ones that they call a hate group. Huh? They say we're doing all kinds of uh, this and that and misinterpreting the scriptures. Sick of this place, man. Jeremiah 23, verse 1. I won't make this too long. It'll be just as long as Jehovah Shimei wants it to be. Jeremiah 23, verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord Yahweh, man. Woe to them. What does woe mean? Destruction. See that? Verse 2. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, our power of Israel. Again, see? And what the Christian church tell you? What do they say? Everybody can be saved. We're Gentiles. Everybody in this, on this planet knows who they are, but the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? So you tell me that's how it works? Come on, man. Verse 2. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, our power of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have, uh, ye have against, Salakia, against the pastors that, that feed my people, Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord Yahweh. See that? And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries, Salakia, out of all the countries, whether I have driven them to the four corners of the earth and will bring them again to their folds and they shall be fruitful and increase, man. You see that? You know, and right now, right about now, it's, it's all it's all happening right in front of your eyes. The house of die with die, house of David is being built. These words that we are speaking on the highways and byways and these epistles are are, are, are being received by the by the uh, by the sheep that can hear his voice. Yet and still, high uh, you still got your uh, holier than thou people all up in the churches. Huh? 
You got a you got a bunch of Eves still talking about you misinterpreting the you misinterpreting the scriptures. Where did you learn any of this from? And and and, and then and then calling on the name Christ. Who the hell is that? <clears throat> Let's go. Sick of this place, man. Got to be apt to teach, man. And if you don't know what you're talking about, sit back and learn. Titus 1 verse 7, for a bishop must be blameless as the steward of the most high, not self-willed, not soon angry, not given to wine, nor striker, nor given to filthy lucre. I still ain't got my watch. I need my watch. Put this, I'm dancing. I'm going to put some anointing on this money. I need another private jet. Are you kidding me? The scripture said it's freely given. You freely give it away. Didn't they put down their nets and pole straightway? But a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, temperate. Holding fast to the faithful word as he had been taught that he may be able to to buy sound doctrine, both exhort and to convince the gainsayers. Verse 10, for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. <laughs> you know, and you heard, yeah, that, that, uh, that's right. We're, we're not, we'll give you some more money. We know you want that watch. What the hell is that? How is that edifying? We're supposed to feed the sheep. Two thirds, man. This is, I mean, Let's keep going. It's just, it's hard, to, it's hard to, to watch that kind of thing, man. But our people, man, again, they'll try. I've said this before several times, but they'll try anything. But listening to the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, they'll do anything. You know, he was even, he even went into talking about your red lobster money. You're not even supposed to be eating that garbage. It's not even food. Verse 11, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. You see that? For filthy lucre's sake. Let's jump on down. Verse 14, not giving heed to the not giving heed to Jewish fables. Uh oh. And commandments of men that turn from the truth. See that? Not sounding the faith, but giving heed. Uh, but, uh, you know, they talk about the precepts of men. A lot of these people went to cemetery school. You know, it's just it's crazy. It's madness. Matthew 5 and verse 19. Red letter. So you shot speaking. Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men. So he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven, man. Woo wee. You see that right there? You, you a weak, effeminate, simp, a simple, a simple man. A simple man. If you if you know oh, I'm an Israelite and, and said that all the Israelites are gonna be saved anyway, you don't want to go through death, death by pain. Don't you want to make it the first time? Didn't the scripture say some of you would not see death? Changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. With a man of great stature putting crowns upon their heads. Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what, uh, what manner of person ought ye to be? It, it's just, I, it's, it's maddening to me. I don't get it. I don't get it. My brother, my brother said one time, I'm just going to live and die, man. You know, I'm just going to live and die, man. Come on, man. Proverbs 27, verse 23. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks and look well to thy herds. Be thou what? Diligent to know the state of thy flocks and look well to thy herd. You got to feed the sheep daily. Okay. Let's use the example of a, a, a Salakia. All right. Hey, Salaki, man, I just, you know, got interrupted with a phone call. All right. 
But anyway, I'm gonna use that as an example. If you don't, if you, uh, if you, you've got a farm, you know, or whatever, your your pets. If you don't feed your pet, they're gonna die. If you don't pay attention to uh, to your, to your flock, they're not gonna make it. You know, they're not going to make it. Anyway, be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks and to look well to their herds. For riches are not forever. And doth the crown endure to every generation. The what? The crown. And that's the spirit I was just speaking of. Yahweh Shai, putting crowns on them, on the men. You know, Yahweh right the Zama part of that number. That's the ultimate. That's, that's, that's it. That's what the whole struggle was for. That's what it's all about. The scripture said, uh, uh, sitting on 12 thrones, man. Oh, man. Wow, you got to envision it. As Apostle Gabar says all the time, you got to envision it, man. You got to envision it. Oh, boy. Proverbs 18, verse 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. You still ain't got me that watch? I've been asking for that watch for a whole month. Or however the hell he said it. <laughs> oh, boy. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh prophet if nothing, man. The Christian church has been, uh, the so-called black Christian church at that has been allowed to, to uh, straight flourish like that. And in the meantime, where all these mega churches are, look at the uh, uh, surrounding uh, 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 areas, man. Look at look at the neighborhoods that they're that these mega churches are in. <laughs> oh man, Proverbs eighteen verse twenty one: Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. You know. They that love it shall eat the fruit. Whoever findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtain favor of the Lord Yahweh. Okay. Let's, let's continue on. It's lucky. I got a couple more here. Matthew 15 and verse 13. But he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up. You see that? Shall be rooted up. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if they lead the blind, both shall fall into a ditch. You see? And it's very clear to see how you're going to be all up in the church and all the pastor got to talk about is some damn money. No mention of Yahweh Shimon Shai. No mention of, uh, of the Israelites. No mention of the elect. <laughs> oh, boy. But if that's, hey, hey, how about Shimei Al Shai got people blinded, man? The election has obtained it and the rest were blinded. That's what the scripture said. Matthew 11, verse 29, red letters again. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, which is your mind, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, man. Meek and lowly. He said our righteousness is as filthy rags. Not sitting up with a $2,000 clown suit on. Looking like Pennywise, man. Pennywise the clown. <laughs> oh, boy. Romans 16, verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them that cause divisions and offenses. Contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. Uh, and, and do what and avoid them again the other day uh, uh, I went to a, 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 a memorial and oh boy I wasn't ready for that it was the most demonic it was the most demonic shit I've ever seen in my life Christianity is bugged all the way out I mean it was just the the just complete and utter madness Uh, the, 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 uh, the demons in that place, man. The pastor was looking at me, kept looking at me. The spirit bear witness, man. He knew there was something different uh, about me. He knew there was something different. He, he could see it. He could feel it. Kept giving me some, some crooked ass smile. 
He don't know the state of his flock. Talking about, I retired from being a preacher. You don't retire. It's a lifelong process, my man. Zechariah 13, verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third part shall be left therein. What? Two thirds got to go. Okay? Because how about Shem Yashah don't want them. The, the scripture said judgment start at, the, uh, uh, at his house, man. And uh, several brothers have said it. I've said it. I can't wait to get them first. Again, you right the Zama part of that number. It's complete nonsense. I got a couple more I'll close out. Second Thessalonians 2 and verse 11. And for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. See that? Let's go back. Verse 10, Salakia. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth. What's the, what is love? That you keep my commandments and they might be saved. 11, again from the top. And for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Now, what on earth was there any prophet in that in that little sermon that that uh, that, uh pastor was trying? What the hell was he even saying? <laughs> oh boy, I'll close out here. Job twelve and verse sixteen. With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. And that's all I have on that. Kwam Yasharala, DTA, Wa Ababa Ball. Boom! Shalom.